Hello, first grade friends. This is Mrs. DeSalm here, ready to teach you your new phonics sound of the week. And this week is a great week because it's one letter with two sounds. Ba -ba -da. Can you tell me the name of this letter right here? Of course you can. That's the letter C. Did you know the C makes two sounds? It doesn't make just make the k sound that you learned about in kindergarten. It also makes the s sound. Now, when you hear the k sound, that's called a hard c. K, kind of, it sounds kind of hard. Now, when you say the s sound, it's not as k hard. So, saw. C sounds like s. All right. Now, this is great. However, there is a trick to figure out in each word whether you're going, when you see the letter C, if you're going to make the saucy sound, the s, or if you're going to say k, the hard C sound. And here is the rule. If the letter C in your word is followed by an E or an I or a Y, then it's going to have a soft C sound. Okay? I'm going to put these letters over here to remind us. A, look, not A, E, I, Y. Now, do you remember your vowels? Very good. So your vowels are A, E, I, O, U, right? So we already have E, I, and sometimes Y. So the only vowels left are A, O, and U. So if you have a C followed by an A, O, or U, then that's going to be a hard C. Okay? Let's try a couple words so you can see what it looks like. All right, let's see. What if I had this word? I'm going to put it right down here in the middle so you have to decide which column it goes in. This would be a great time to pause the video and go get your whiteboards and markers. All right. Here's the word. Now look at the letter C in the word. What does it have after it? Does it have an E, I, or Y? Or does it have an A, O, or U? It has an E, which is over here. So that means I'm going to have the soft C sound. So this C is going to say S. Now another thing I notice about this word right away is it's got a magic E at the end. So that means it's going to give the I the power to say its name, so this word is going to say dice, dice, and that's the soft C sound, so we're going to put dice over here, all right? Now, what about this word? You find your letter C, what does it have after it? What vowel? It has an A. So this is going to go over here with the hard C. What does hard C say again? K. So this says K. An A R, bossy R, R, D, card. That's going to go in the hard C. Very good. Your next word is going to be this word. I feel like this is a very appropriate word for today. So you find your C. What letter's after it? All right. Oh, is that under hard C or soft C? It's under hard C. So this is going to say k old. And this is that pattern that we learned the other week. The old, cold. So that's going to also go under hard C. Very good. 
We are just filling up our chart today. All right, what about this one? Find the C, and what letter comes after it? Now, don't be tricked because there's an A before it, but we're looking at the letter that comes after the C, and that's an E. Very good. So this is going to be a soft C. Soft C says what? Very good. It says, so again, this is another magic E. A lot of times this happens with the soft Cs where it's got the magic E at the end. So it's going to give the A the power to say its name. So now this word is brace. Very good, under soft C. All right, this time I'm going to give you a hard word that's two syllables. Here we go. And it's got a bossy R in it. Now you find your C, and you look what letter comes after it. Is it an E, I, or Y, or is it an A, or O, or U? It's an I. So, now the I isn't going to say I in this word, though, because it's right next to the R. It's got a bossy R. So, remember, I, R says, Burr, like you're pumping the brakes. Circus. Circus. And that's another soft C word. You guys are amazing. Now, soft C or hard C words aren't just found at the beginning of the words. You can also find hard C at the end of the words, but it's usually partnered with the letter K, like in the word back or track. So, your job today is when you're reading on your Learning A to Z books, I want you to see if you can find any hard C or soft C words. And if you do, I want you to write them down, okay, and practice those words. Because this is like second grade stuff, guys. This is big stuff. But once you know these rules, it makes it so much easier when you're reading. I hope you guys have a great day. And stay very warm. Drink a hot, cup of hot cocoa for me, all right? I'll see you guys later.